Oh, great question. Gym owners have to wear a lot of hats. <laughs> so what we wanted to do is we wanted to create a course that plugs the hole that currently sits in the industry today, which is poor, poor education resources. Not only are we going to give you tools, but we're going to give you the toolbox itself. The functional fitness course is the coaching course for the, like, the next gym personal trainer. Imposter syndrome is commonly cited by your, your new PFCA recruits. Why, why, firstly, why do you think that is so common? As a personal trainer, you grow exponentially. You aren't nearly as good as some of the people you might look up to, but nor should you be. The aim is that it strengthens resilience so that our clients can handle da daily life stress. One of the most important things when it comes to developing yourself as a coach is actually exposure. The only way you're going to get better is by doing more sets and reps. And I generally thought, make the gym look really cool. If I build it, they will come. Couldn't have been more wrong. Being a good coach doesn't mean that you're going to be a good gym owner. Yeah, would you encourage a personal trainer to adopt to become more successful? Number one is, do I have a set of principles and values? And can I act in accordance of that? Can I remain authentic to that? There is so much food on the table. The amount of people who don't do fitness, who need to do fitness, is huge. And the reason why most trainers fail in this industry is because they 